I'm Dr. Daniel Mackey. I'm a medical oncologist. I've been with Mercy for seven years. I'm the Regional Oncology Service Line Chair for Arkansas, and I chair the Medical Oncology Leadership Committee for Mercy. Mercy is one of the largest Catholic health care systems in the United States, uh, stretching from St. Louis all the way to Oklahoma City. My name is uh, Tyler Kang. I'm a medical director in medical oncology, and I've been here at uh, Martin O'Neill Cancer Center since uh, 2019. It's a small rural community, really, um, and the fact that we have a comprehensive cancer program here um, is a real benefit to really our local population because we're really able to provide academic level um, oncology care here in Napa Valley. For the past 20 years, I've been looking for a way that we can diagnose patients with cancers at an earlier stage. With the multi-cancer related detection test with Grail Gallery, this gives us an opportunity to find these patients and perhaps have more options available to uh, ultimately treat these patients. Our current screening methods really only detect some of the major cancers, and we don't really have good screening methods for a lot of cancers. If we're able to identify cancer at earlier stages, uh, they can generally be more treatable, uh, potentially have a higher chance of getting them into remission. Multi-cancer early detection tests should be added to routine cancer screening, and that's what we're doing here at Adventist Health. With precision medicine, uh, Mercy is educating our primary care uh, providers, uh, physicians, and APPs on the multi-cancer early detection test, sharing that information with patients. We had a patient in the Fort Smith area who had a positive signal with the Grail Gallery test, and the patient was going to be seeing me in the office. And I remember that day, reviewing the patient's chart just before going into the patient's room, and I'm thinking that that very day, you know, you know, the history is changing. And I was just stunned to be a part of it. We can diagnose our patients at an earlier stage. Not only does it improve their quality of life and you know, improve the morbidity associated with the treatments, but we can also reduce healthcare costs. In oncology, obviously, there's a lot of advances. Um, year to year, even month to month and day to day. So we need to really be able to offer the most cutting edge therapies and diagnostic and treatment for our patients. Based on a clinical study of people ages 50 to 79, around 1% are expected to receive a cancer signal detected result, which includes predicted cancer signal origins. After diagnostic evaluation, around 40% of people are expected to have a confirmed cancer diagnosis. The gallery test is prescription only. The gallery test is recommended for use in adults with an elevated risk for cancer, such as those age 50 or older. It is not recommended for individuals who are pregnant, 21 years or younger, or undergoing active cancer treatment. Gallery should be used in addition to routine cancer screening. Gallery does not detect a signal for all cancers. False positive and false negative results do occur.